In 2007 came the shocking news that TV executives had decided to sack Louis. Everyone's feeling at the time was he wouldn't have a problem with it. <laughs> Think again. He said, I have bad news. And he told me I was sacked from the X Factor, they were making changes. And I will never, ever forget that, because it was like I was hit with a train. He was devastated. I have never, ever heard him sound like this. But the decision was made. And so I went back to Dublin and I was just, I was just so, so down. And I felt like I was too old. I thought, my, this is it, I'm too old. I might as well face it and get on with it. I mean, he called me every name under the sun. I mean, just unloaded. And I didn't feel great about it. And it was front page news, I was sacked and all the rest. And I was trying to say, no, uh, well, I left and stuff, but no, I was genuinely sacked. And I was in a bad place. And in the meantime, I'm thinking, OK, we've made the decision, he's gone, but we've got to make the show. We've just got to carry on making the show. And it took me about five minutes to realise I'm, how much I miss Louis. It wasn't the fact that the new person wasn't any good, he was actually very good. It's just that I'd lost my buddy now. Um, and I didn't realise how much I just liked having him there. Simon couldn't last without him. You know, and Louis was texting me saying, I'm devastated, I'm miserable, I miss him so much. And it was like, oh, goodness sake. So I'd be forwarding each other's texts to each other, <laughs> sort of going, look, this, look, and he said this. One day in without Louis, and it's like, we miss Louis, he's got to come back. This is awful without Louis. Behind the scenes, it quickly became apparent that Louis had to be brought back. I called Louis, and, the heart, and the, what I said to Louis was, you've got to keep your mouth shut for two weeks. Now, for Louis, two minutes is a long time. And then he said to me, you can't tell anybody, <laughs> which is like, you can't tell me not to tell anybody. If you want something spread around, just tell Louis Walsh. Don't tell Louis a secret, or don't tell Louis a secret unless it's actually an, an advertisement. That was the hardest two weeks he ever had, because if this gets out, you're not coming back on the show. He said, I want to get you back, but I would have to convince everybody on ITV about it. Now, the network's reaction at the time was, once you've publicly done something, you can't go back. I totally disagree. It's reality TV. If we've made a mistake, I'll hold my hands up. It's my responsibility. Uh, but he's coming back. And uh, it was a very, very, very difficult conversation with them. Um, and I said, look, in the end, it's going to have to happen, because I want him to come back. And luckily, they agreed. He, he said, I've convinced everybody you're back on the show. And I was like, oh, great. By the way, it took him 10 seconds to get back into his stride. There was no awkwardness. It was like he'd never gone. And now I'm stuck with him. Simon and Louis are um, a great double act. I mean, I love working with Simon. We're like, we're like two brothers who are in competition and who's going to get the funniest lines and we have the best fun behind the scenes. I would say Simon is one of my best friends in the whole world and I, when he walks into the room, I just start laughing. He's one of the funniest people I've ever met in my life. I mean, Louis, I always say to Louis, I want to be you for an hour of the day. I just want to feel what you feel, which is constantly optimistic, happy. And I say this to him all the time, if you had a tail, you'd wag it. He's just happy. Wag, 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 wag. Whatever we are, whatever's happening, are you happy, Louis? Loving it. Simon doesn't really like comics. He's, he, he's not into comics at all. And yet, Louis cracks him up. He has this effect on me. <laughs> and he just makes a face or he looks over. And I start laughing. And if, he, if somebody comes into the show and he thinks they're really funny as well, I cannot look at him. Because if I look at him, we just start, we just get this laughing and we cannot stop. And we don't know why we're laughing. So I love working with Simon. But I've been mean, deep down, beyond work. Uh, Louis is, will be one of my best friends forever. I mean, genuinely, I trust him, I like him. But I, can, I like him well enough, I can argue with him as well, and he does get on my nerves occasionally. I know Simon so long. I know him for, like, ten years. It's only now I, I can almost say anything to him on TV, you know? And he can give it up, but he can also take it back. So that's the good thing about him. He doesn't mind as long as it's real, as long as it's honest. During the making of this programme, Louis received a devastating message. 
I just finished X Factor. I was in the car on a Saturday night, and after X Factor on a Saturday night, I get maybe 30 texts on my phone. And there was one text on my phone, and it just said, Jesus, is Stephen dead? Stephen Gately from Boyzone had been found dead at his holiday home in Mallorca. I couldn't believe Stephen, he's only 33, he went on holidays and he's dead. And it still hasn't sunk in properly. Even though I've been to the funeral, I've seen his body laid out, I've seen all that, I've seen the boys crying, I've cried with the boys. But for some reason, it still doesn't seem to sink in away. I can't believe that somebody so young is dead. A man, a friend, a brother, a son, a husband and a hero. We're gonna really miss you, brother. Love you. We always will. And we know you have found peace. Perfect peace. To see Sheriff Street in several place lined up with people on both sides of the road, throwing roses, uh, you know, for Stephen. It, honestly, it was one of the most amazing things I've ever seen in my life. I don't think the boys are ever going to get over it because it's not going to be the same looking at that stage with a massive, massive space. Nobody's ever going to fill his shoes. The shock of Stephen Gately's death echoed across the music industry with the likes of you too publicly paying their respects. Stephen Gately, beautiful spirit, bright, shining star. It's just wrong and it's sad. 33, he's just cut off from us all. I still can't believe he's dead though. That's the strange thing. As Louis and Boyzone struggle to come to terms with the loss of their friend, Louis continues to throw himself into his work, courting controversy every week on The X Factor. I think the next step for Louis Walsh is America. He just loves music and television. I mean, genuinely loves them. I mean, he loves music. He lives for music. He thrives off this industry, and uh, that's why he's done so well and still, still at it today. You know, he deserves all the accolade and all the sort of recognition that he gets because he's such an unassuming wee guy, really. But um, he's a little powerhouse. He's underrated as a manager. Louis is smart, much smarter than people think. And I don't think he even wants people to know how smart he is. I think he likes to think he's not aware of situations because he, that's how he gets his own way constantly. Louis always gets his own way, always. Whatever Louis wants, Louis gets but he does it in a very charming way. For Louis, music is his baby, you know, it's his, it's his child, and, you know, that's, that's how he does so well with it, you know, he, he mothers it himself, I guess. He knows exactly what he wants, he goes for it, and he usually gets it. I mean, that's Louis' thing, I think his greatest thing is he always shoots for the moon. He doesn't, it's not about being mediocre, Let, let's make this as big as we can make it, or else let's not bother. I think that's Louis' Louis's thing. Louis's like a, an Osborne. Louis Osborne. Hmm. Louis and I always got on very well. I, I kind of looked at him like, like a father figure, really, to be honest. Um, growing up, growing up in the band and, and generally in life. A lot of respect for Louis. We may have our spats about agreeing, disagreeing about music and this and that, but when it comes down to what's important, friendship, He's a true friend, and, and that's the best thing I can say about Louis. I just want to continue doing this for as long as I can, because it's not really like work to me. I get up every day and think, how lucky am I to be doing something I love? And I've made some really good friends. I love music. I love X Factor. I even like Simon Cowell. Life is good. Listen, life is what you make it. I always believe, you know, life is what you make it. And if, you, if, you're, if you're nice and if you work hard, you can do anything you want in the whole world.